What you need for this experiment is liquid hand soap that has glycoacerate in it, and I'll show you where to find that. A 20 ounce bottle, food coloring, and water. All right, to set up this experiment, you need the liquid hand soap with the special glyco uh, serrate in it. And so if you look on the back of the, uh, of the ingredients, you'll see it right there. Um, if it's got that, then you have the right hand soap. You need a little bit of food coloring. Um, pick your, uh, your favorite food coloring. Color, which I did, a 20 ounce bottle, um, 625 milliliters, and some water. So um, I got the water. Uh, I'm going to fill the bottle up about two-thirds of the way with uh, liquid soap. You can play around with it to see which one's better. The more uh, liquid soap, the more it's going to make that flow motion, right? So um, you'll see as we go. So about two-thirds of the way there. Then you're going to take your favorite food coloring uh, color, which I'm using blue. So now the secret's out. I'm going to put two or three drops in. I think I'm going to do three. Um, the more you do it, the darker it is. Um, actually, uh, we want more. I get three in there. Um, and you don't want it too dark, but you do want to be able to pick out the flow motion of the liquid soap. Then we're going to fill very slowly. You're going to pour water in it. You do not want to make any suds or bubbles. Um, and you want to fill this um, all the way to the top of the brim. So you don't want to have any gap in there for air space. So you might go over a little bit, uh, a tad, um, but you want to fill it all the way to the top so it's completely to the brim of the bottle. And then once we have that set, as you can see right here, a little bit of bubbles, I'll wipe it off. Um, the less bubbles you have in there, um, the better it's going to work. Now we're going to put the cap on very tightly and we're going to shake very well. Um, to mix up the water and the liquid soap and then from there we'll be ready to do the experiment Though it is kind of cool when you first do that before you really shake hard The water finds its way through some of the liquid soap and, and it kind of makes a pattern So before you, you you shake it really well, you can just play around with it a little bit and make some cool designs uh, So anyway get it all the way shaken up and once we get it sh completely shaken up Then we will look at the flow motion tube and I will tell you the science behind it. So um, now we got it completely shaken up and you're gonna keep moving it back and forth to get the flow motion going inside the tube. Now the science behind it is the interesting patterns that develop in the bottle while inverted are due to adding much more soap than can be dissolved in the water. That's why the two thirds to a one third water ratio and you can try different uh, measurements. As a result, the water flows past these undissolved soap particles creating the interesting flow patterns. The food coloring makes it so these patterns are more visible and that's why you can kind of see the yellow soap. I kind of got a little bit of green in there because I used blue. So using the color pa uh, palette there. Um, and now I'm outside to get a little bit better view. Um, some of the lights glaring off it. But as you can see, I move it back and forth. You can see these uh, patterns developing um, as the soap goes back and forth and swirls around, which is pr pretty cool. As we go uh, from outside, where we get a little bit more light in there, a little bit of a glare, I'm going inside the house into a dark room, and I have a, a very bright light behind it. And so when I turn it upside down, you can really see a different effect um, as the particles of soap are going down, up and down as we do this um, continuously. Uh, so you can really see the patterns a little bit more without that sun glare on the outside of the bottle. So the, the same effect is visible on uh, commercially available uh, flow motion tubes, which are uh, very similar material that you can buy online where we just made our own here, right? So you can also observe the same swirls in a bottle of V8 Splash fruit juice. The colors swirl even uh, mentioned in the, on the label where it's noticeable that they're the natural phenomenon, right? So the swirls are likely produced because the fruit juices are not fully dissolved into the drink, and as a result, the, re the remaining liquid flows past the undissolved liquid, creating the swirl effect. So this is uh, pretty cool. Now I'm inside uh, a dark room, and I just have the, the camera uh, light on, uh, so you can actually see. I actually think this is the best one out of all three of them. Uh, having the, the light of the camera on and really seeing the soap and now I'm back outside so I hope you enjoyed this video remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe and thanks for watching